Hello there. It is Wednesday, September 27th, and this is a developer log on my game, Shotgun Night. My name is C. Jacobs, and this is, I think, the fourth video? Third? Third or fourth? I think it's the fourth video. And I am very excited, because in the last video I talked about how I had started to implement uh, changing out your weapon at altars, and I finished it. So I have unequipped Shotgun Knight, and as you can plainly see, he has no arms still. That's... that's still on the menu. Let's check out the Shotgun menu to see how things have changed. Check it out! I have the selectable portions in the top screen, and each of the parts with a fancy description in the, uh, the bottom left screen. And you can select each of your gun parts individually and it'll tell you the stats dynamically and if you have a set bonus I'm very happy about that because implementing that was a pain in the ass I have completely switched over most of my code to be data structures instead of all of it being stored in variables so my code is a lot more optimized now it's more of a pain in the ass to read <laughs> I really don't like reading data structures or the code therein uh, but it's a lot better optimized now. Also, you may have noticed this fashionable lady standing over here. Uh, this Plague Doctor is the very first NPC. You can talk to her, and right now she doesn't have any dialogue to display, but if I set the flags so that she does have dialogue to display in her data structure that uh, where her dialogue is stored, she'll have stuff to say. And right now it displays the entire line at once. Uh, what I'm going to work on next is making an actual box where, like, it'll show only a little bit at a time. Uh, but yeah, it works. The game remembers her dialogue, and uh, all of the flags function properly. Uh, if you want me to, I'll go into a little bit of behind-the-scenes stuff about how all that works, because I find it to be very interesting, and uh, I, I think I laid it out in a pretty clever way, so if you want me to make a video on that, maybe in the next developer log, just let me know. Uh, that's all I have for you, for now. It's not a whole lot of substantial stuff, uh, but the framework for my game is coming together. Um, after I finish the dialogue, I'm going to start implementing enemies, you know, because there needs to be actual gameplay in the game. And then we will be on a roll. <laughs> Everything will be in place. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video and want to see more like it, go ahead and subscribe. I make videos like this every, every week, every couple of days. Probably too frequently to be healthy. I'll see you all later.